that if a male tall plant cross with a dwarf female plant then we get a tall plant it doesn't make any difference if female plant is tall or male plant is tall it is inevitably expressed in the next generation isn't it this is known as law of equivalence this genomic imprints or genetic imprints do not follow a law of equivalence because it depends on whether the gene is of paternal or maternal origin if it is paternal origin it is expressed in some manner if it is maternal it expresses in some other manner so please bear. according to mendel's law of equivalence it does not matter which parent is contributing the dominant gene or allele it invariably expresses it invariably expresses itself in the next generation genetic imprints violate this law of equivalence as it depends on whether the gene is of paternal or maternal origin for example consider autosomal dominant disease hunt huntington's disease or huntington's chorea if the gene is inherited from father it behaves in a particular manner and if it is from maternal origin it behaves in a slightly different manner even though the symptoms remain the same the time of initiation of the disease and the severity of symptoms vary depending on its paternal or maternal origin selecting the right optional subject for the upsc exam can be a daunting task especially if you're aiming to succeed on your first attempt but what if there's a crucial element that could make all the difference That element is continuous answer writing practice at Vijeta IAS Academy. Our anthropology optional foundation program offers a comprehensive approach. Not only will you delve deeply into the subject matter, but you will also engage in daily and weekly answer writing exercises. Each of your answers will be meticulously reviewed and critiqued by NP Kishore sir, ensuring you receive personalized feedback to enhance your skills. This approach has already helped many students achieve impressive marks and ranks such as Akanksha Singh 311 marks in Anthro CSE 2022. Chaudhary Shipra Vijay Kumar, 307 marks in Anthro CSE 2022. Ajink Kumar, who cracked UPSC in his first attempt, and many more. With daily feedback and structured practice, you will be well prepared to succeed in the UPSC examination. With our focused feedback and structured practice, you'll be well equipped to improve your performance and boost your chances of securing a top rank in the CSE. Don't wait any longer. Enroll in Vijeta IS Academy today and unlock the proven success formula for conquering the UPSC exam.